Hello my rock world. Tonight we are in Munich at a very sunny day and uh, Beth Hart, the legendary singer, has his last concert for the tour in Germany in the Circus Krone, which is the most famous hall in Europe. So, and we have an exclusive interview with her, so welcome in Munich, Beth Hart. Thank you. <laughs> Beth, let's start with the first question. Please tell us something about the new great album called Fire on the Floor and what's different to the last album, Better Than Home from 2015. Well, all the records are always different. They're, n they're never like really repeating themselves. I think a big part of that has to do with, I always work with different producers from album to album generally, as well as, um, when it comes to songwriting, I write in a lot of different directions genre-wise. So this album, I would say overall, is um, maybe extremely eclectic more so than any other record I've done. But I think it, it, it's got some jazz in there, and it's got um, a little bit more blues than usual. It's got some rock and roll like usual. And then, of course, some of my singer songwriter songs. So um, musically, yes, it's it's kind of all over the place in terms of... And you uh, didn't use your tour band? You used... I never used music. my tour band. No. Oh, okay. I always use the band connected to the producer that I work with oh yeah because uh, what we do is we get in and we get out right away so like um, I usually don't make a record any longer than five days will I spend in the studio so I work with their guys and then I turn in uh, the songwriting which is the songs are already yeah. arranged mm -hmm. so they get a copy of it and then they're just pro guys and they and they get it down and then we go in and we do everything live so like I did that with Kevin Shirley and then I did that with Oliver Lieber and I did that also with Rob Mathis and Michael Stevens on better than Hot home so and then even when I do the Joe records you know when we when we do our records together the same thing we go in and it's three four days and we're done so yeah oh. it just yeah I, I work with the producers musicians and it just works out great I have in the past worked with my own musicians like um, I worked with John Nichols who's been my guitar player for 18 yeah. years we did 37 days together and then we also did leave the light on together yeah. so yeah okay mm -hmm. So, with this uh, last album, with the new album, Fire on the Floor, you have won the European Blues Award for the best album of the year, 2016. How do you feel getting such great feedback on your music? Well, of course, it's it's nice when people react to your music in, in a good way. But, you know, something that I learned along the way um, in, in just doing this for a long time was I would never, ever um, make my identity or, or my work base it on people's reactions. So in other words, if people react great to it, it doesn't mean the work is great. You and if people, thing. well, yeah, I mean, it's just, I can't, I can't base my identity on people's reactions. That's just like saying, okay, you let other people to define you. You can't do that. It will drive you crazy. Yes. So I believe in the work no matter what, and sometimes it goes over with people and sometimes it doesn't, but it doesn't take away or diminish how I feel about it. So, yeah. 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 The cover of the record looks really cool and it looks that it was a dangerous photo shooting as well, so uh -huh. where was the location for that photo shooting? Well, this is a, a location, this is a set that's built um, out in the desert and it's actually used for a lot of movies and TV and also uh, model shoots. So really? it, Yeah, it's a set that's built just for the entertainment business and people taking photos there. It's really great. It's like a hotel and gas station and bar and, and it's just kind of set up really old looking. And the fire. It's just put in from, uh, what do you call, from through the computer. Photoshop. It's just Photoshop, yeah. Perfect. yeah. yeah. Uh, coming back to the actual album, do you have any favorite song on it and why? Every song is, is a love of my life. Um, I would never ever put a song on any album unless I absolutely adored it. But if I had to choose one song, it would probably be No Place Like Home. And No Place Like Home means a lot to me because I spent my whole life trying to get away from home. Yeah. And now at my age, it's so wonderful that I want to go home, yeah, that I love it. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like kind of, it feels like I learned yeah. yeah, a little bit and grew yeah. a little bit and not so afraid yeah. of where I come from. So yeah. Perfect. Did you receive some, some feedback from the Coca-Cola company? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You cannot copyright um, a title. Okay. Yeah, so uh, anyone can use any title. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yep. Are yep. there any plans to record a, a recent show on this tour for the live album release someday? We say again? Is there a plan of uh, recording one of the shows for a like future a live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Album we we, we have yeah we have the Royal Albert Hall in London booked, 
and we're going to be doing um, a, a live DVD of that show. Yeah. Yeah. But not an album, but not a, a CD. Oh, of course. We'll yeah, also make perfect. a CD for it. So yes. the next album will be a live album from the Roy Orbital. Hall. No, the next album is probably going to come out on um, my latest Joe record that I'm working on. And then, who knows, I may release another album of my own before then. So I, I just don't just don't yeah. know what's going to so come out first. So the next album is one with, with uh, Joe Bonrasa? I think the next release will be with Joe. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Um, what can we expect from the show tonight and from the set list? How do you choose the set list? Yeah, I have not written the set list yet, so I'll just go back and, um, you know, the band knows a hundred songs or more. Yeah. So I just go back and just kind of see how I feel and, and make a nice set. Um, what I do is I tend to choose, you know, different songs night to night from all the records. So I don't ever like to assume that an audience only... That I don't ever try and assume that the audience has all the records you know yes. maybe some people just have one or two whatever so I I like people to get something they know you yeah. know what I mean yeah so and then also I like to change it up because otherwise I'd get really bored yeah. and how, stagnant how much songs are changed every night oh god is it is it more than 75 two? 85 95 percent of it is really? different yeah from day to day oh yeah wow yeah I would be bored doing the same thing yeah you're right You know what I mean? So, yeah, I, yeah. I can understand this. Yeah, it changes so it's up. more, you need this kind of, more than an improvisation. Yes. You go on like a jazz musician. Well, I mean, playing, just we, we just, feeling. we, I don't want anything to become stagnant. I understand. And if we play the same thing over and over, it just loses its fear and energy and edge and humanness. It starts to become like a machine. And I understand. I don't like that. Yeah, this is good. This you is know? a good attitude. I can yeah. understand full that in that. So, uh, a, a good question always for us is because, you know, we have to know about the roots, where you come from yeah. musically. Yeah. So, who were your heroes starting out playing music? So, many, many, many different genres and different artists. Um, when I was... you really off? Everyone from every genre. Really? No one more than another. Uh, when I was starting as a very young person, yes. three, four years old, my favorite music was all classical music, so all opera, all uh, classical composers, Beethoven, Rachmaninoff, uh, Joseph Haydn, it just keeps going, you know, and also I was a cellist and I was a piano player, so that was the music yeah. I loved as a young kid, but then my mom was a huge music buff, so she loved J Dinah Washington and uh, Ella, uh, Ella Fitzgerald, yes, and Billie Holiday, um, but she also loved loved James Taylor and she loved Carol King oh, wow. and she loved yeah. Billy Joel and and so and and she loved um who's a uh, Hollywood nice uh, 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 Bob Seger she loved Bob Seger and then my brother loved punk rock he loved the Ramones wow. he also loved <laughs> Jeff Beck and he wow. loved reggae and he collected wow. a lot of wow. reggae so he turned me on to that and then also my neighbor kids friends when I'm like around nine or ten turned me on to you know Zeppelin and Rush I was a big Rush fan uh, Black Sabbath wow. right and then in school my singer friends because I went to high school performing arts so my singer friends would turn me on to like Donny Hathaway and uh, Aretha Franklin oh, wow. yes. and and Etta James yeah. and then when I was when I was dating my boyfriend my first real boyfriend Mike I was 14 15 he was nine years older and we would listen to a lot of Big Joe Turner and then the big band blues yeah. so yeah. got into that and then when I started singing out live like around yeah. 15 16 people started giving me box sets like on Janis Joplin and they started giving me box sets yeah. on Robert Johnson yeah. and on uh, Holland Wolf yeah. and stuff like that so it just kind of ran together so you, you know you, you've got all the roots a lot of different lot of genres what is your what is one of your favorite cover songs and we always do a little bit improvising normally when a, when we have an interview a musician has a guitar maybe and we say what is your favorite cover song can you Just sing a little bit. So my favorite covers to sing? Yes. Um, And can you sing it? No, I'm not going to sing. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, but, you know, I really like covering some of the Melody Gardeau stuff. She's a great jazz songwriter. Um, she's an amazing singer. She's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, but I got introduced to her through working with Joe and Kevin Shirley, which is his producer. Mm -hmm. Um on like Heart is as Black as Night and uh, she is just incredible. I just adore her. But I mean, I you know, the stuff I really love to cover is like old jazz stuff, you know? The blues stuff is great, but 
there's something about the jazz and the timing and the sexiness and the, and the yeah. moving of the phrasing yeah. Yeah. that is so it's challenging and and I level. just I love it yeah. I love it Perfect. yeah the musicianship you know Ella Fitzgerald stuff Lullaby of the Leaves is one of my favorite of all time songs that she does and that song is just extraordinary yeah. so. have you have you played it ever live um, I have not played it live, but we have recorded it with Joe for our upcoming record. Oh, this is this yes, is cool. yes. But on the same record, we have Humble Pot, um, uh, uh, Black Coffee. So we cover. Great so song. there's this again, you know, with Joe, he's so open to this wide genre, yeah. and it's so great. Yeah. It's so fun. Yeah, yeah. But Perfect. so challenging too, you know. Cool. Yeah. But this is a, a really big difference if you have. Uh, this kind of a jazz classic and then you have a humble pie song yeah. from exactly. the exactly it's like you can't f get further away from each other it's fab cool yeah very good so Love we know a little secret about the coming up record yes. um, please tell us a secret about yourself that nobody knows maybe a funny tuba secret something nobody knows I think that n everyone knows everything I'm such an open <laughs> book you know what I mean I've been so open in every interview and every show and I don't keep any secrets I mean I just don't have any uh, there's no reason I think that secrets make you sick anyway then keeping then a secret it's also good yeah. it's a good answer you know yeah okay <laughs> so at least some words to your fans please oh uh, just human well I don't think I have fans I don't look at it that way that's weird to me but I do think that we've got some nice people that come to our shows and when they come we get really lucky because we get to do part of what our dream is and that is to perform for people and hopefully bring them something nice yeah. so um, you know I think I've been really lucky with the people that come to our shows they're incredibly sensitive and energetic and just lovely great okay. listeners great and listeners and you know this this concert hall you are playing tonight I don't yeah. know if you know it it's a circus tent this is the most famous hall in Europe why oh, wow. All the bands, all the biggest rock bands, the Beatles played yeah, here in 1966, that. the Stones played that. here, yeah. all the bands, Aerosmith, all bands played here, all the chess guys, Louis Armstrong, everybody played in this hall. And if you go to the rooms to upstairs, yeah. this more than 60 rooms, this, this is the same room like the Beatles were in. It's just colored oh again. So just for you to Amazing. know. Amazing. You have beautiful eye color too. The lady who interviewed me earlier has got pretty eyes. You have great eye color. Thank you very beautiful. much. <laughs> Thank you for nice. the interview and we Thank you for the interview. a great show tonight. I hope so. We'll Perfect. see. Thank you.